How's the Christmas feast coming along? Ah, oh, I can hardly wait, mateys. Mmm, that Christmas kelp loaf smells delicious. Mmm. Christmas for starter, have a have a. Tunip says the Christmas feast should be ready in about an hour. First up, set up a table top. But first, they have to set the table. Oh, I love this part. <laughs> help you with that. You Vegemals are already busy enough. Aye, I don't know how we ever got by without these little mateys. Me neither. Shellington, tell us again how you met them. With pleasure, Peso. It was years ago that I discovered the Vegemals. Of course, I didn't know they were Vegemals at first. I was out doing some research when I found something very unusual on the side of the octopod. As far as I could tell, they were eggs, but they were bigger than any fish eggs I'd ever seen. In any case, it wasn't safe to leave them outside, so I brought them back to my lab to study. I kept a close watch on them day and night. Then, one morning, I awoke to a strange noise. It sounded like singing. And that's when I met Tunip. I'd never seen anything like them. They seem to be half vegetable and half animal. So I called them Vegemals. Well, the octopod wouldn't be the same without them. What is it, Dashie? Is there something strange on the map, Captain? It almost looks like there's a lake right here on the seafloor. A lake? At the bottom of the ocean? Oh, my! Now, this is a Christmas surprise. So you know what this thing is, Professor? I think I do, Captain. If I'm not mistaken, it's a brine lake. Brine lakes are made of really salty water that settles on the seafloor. They're very rare. In fact, I've never actually seen one. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go and take a look. I'm coming too. I'd love to take some photos. And just be back in time for the feast. Don't worry. We'll be back in a jiffy. There 
It is the Brine Lake. Incredible. Cool. It's water that's underwater. That's right. Brine lakes are so salty that hardly anything can live in them. But there are lots of little creatures around the edges. Well, hello there. Merry Christmas. It's common. It's common. Yes, Christmas seems to come faster every year, doesn't it? Ah! Huh? Oh, jumping jellyfish. Ladgermouse hmm. de Mervin. Oops. Vagimos the Merva. Hmm, Shellington Dash and Inkling still haven't returned. Captain, come in, Captain. Shellington, what's happened? It's got us, Captain. Can't get out. A great big slimy. Shellington, come in, Shellington. Quasi, Peso, Tweak, to the Cup Sea. Aye, aye, Captain. We'll stop the wobble. No? Huh? Internet's for hours. Crazy. Wow. Another person? Hmm. No sign of any of them. No sign of the guppy either. Captain, look at this. Shellington's magnifying glass. Something's not right. Um, Captain. Shellington would never leave this lying around. Then they must have cleared out of here in a hurry. Where did they go? <laughs> there! <gasps> Shiver me whiskers! Captain, get us out of here! Don't touch it, or you'll get stuck too! Don't worry, we'll get you out. Get to the cup sea. We'll use the tow line to pull them out. Whoa! <gasps> We're surrounded. Brace yourselves, this could get sticky! <gasps> Stuff. It's called marine mucilage, sea snot. It's made of rotting bits of plants and plankton. Blah. Just how I wanted to spend Christmas, stuck in a big blob of snot. Captain, those creatures are about to be stuck in here with us. Wait! That's not good. Sea snot can be very dangerous to any sea creatures who get stuck in it. We've got to help them. But first, we've got to get ourselves out. We'd better call for backup. Backup? Well, who's going to get us out of this one, Captain? Tune in. Come in, tune in. Couple, the first time of Kula. The Christmas feast will have to wait, tune in. We're stuck in a snot block. <sighs> and if we don't get out of here soon, there'll be no one there to eat it. Need your help, tune in. Sending an emergency rescue plan. Hurry! Super? Emergency rescue plan downloaded. Send out the actor alert. Let's move to the arts floor.
Vazima, the Octonaut, Stika Stika, the Labo. Watch out the Stika. Welcome back to Volume 17 of the Octonaut's Video Training Series. Today's lesson, Quicksand, Slime Spills, and Blob Rescues. Hmm. Quicksand can be... <laughs> blob Rescues. When rescuing someone from a blob, it's important to always have a rescue vehicle so you don't get stuck yourself. Extend a rescue line to the person or creature and use it to pull them out of the blob. <sighs> always remember, a vehicle and rescue line beats a blob every time. Now, let's try out our technique. I think I see a blob now. Help! 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 <gasps> Captain Barnacles, we are stuck and we can't get out. Stay in your vehicle, matey, or you'll get stuck in the pudding too. It's a blob. I mean the blob. <gasps> Here, grab onto this rescue line. <laughs> mm, not bad. And that's all there is to it. So remember, a vehicle and rescue line beats a blob every, every time. A vehicle and rescue line beats a blob every time. Vegemars, do not launch a ball. Sea snails, help is on the way. Hmm. I don't have a vehicle, but I do have a rescue line. Oh! Keep pulling, Captain. You're doing great. You're almost free. 
Yup. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Right back in the blob of snot. Listen, everyone. What in the seven seas is that? It sounds like singing. <laughs> Whiskers. Tune in, the sea snails. Rescue the sea snails. Smaller? Come on, gorilla. Uh huh. Get on. These are the octonauts. Eagle, gorilla. Ah, shot too soon. Oops, sir. Shot too late. <laughs> Come on, Barrett. You can do it. Bullseye. <laughs> Everyone, grab on. and rescue line beats a blob every time. Good work, Vegemals. Keep up, Apple. This is quite a creation, Vegemals. You think it can pull the guppy out of the snot blob, too? Beat the power. Fuga! Uh-oh. It looks like you could use some help. Come on, everyone. Captain, look! The blob's getting bigger! <laughs> Vegemals, it's time to deal with this snot blob once and for all. Move out for move out. A vacuum! Ah, good thinking, little mateys! Just too much of it. Tune it. Pull up. Yeah. Now where can we pull all this snot? Oh, right in there. The brine lake. It's too salty even for sea snot. And there aren't any creatures for it to hurt in there. Sounds like the perfect place for this stuff. Head for the brine lake, Tune it. The sleigh ride saves Christmas every time. Right, Tunip? Tunip! Tunip! I think he's waking up. Super? Easy there, Tunip. You've had a lot of excitement today. Good work, Tunip. We're all very proud of you. You and the other Vegemals saved us from that snot blob. And you saved all those sea creatures by the brine lake. The best of all, Beatty, you saved Christmas.
potluck dinner is served. Oh, 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 delicious. Vegemals, thank you for preparing such a wonderful feast. <laughs> but most of all, thank you for getting us all back home for Christmas. Hooray! Hooray! Octopod! I see it! I see it! We're almost there, Mum! Yes, dear. I'm so excited to see my big brother, the Octonaut. I hope they get here soon. Pinto! Mum! You're here! I can't wait to ask Pinto about his adventures. And look, Mum! We get to swim through the Octa Hatch. See how it opens? Isn't that cool? Yes, dear. Peso's waiting for us up in the launch bay. Mum, Pinto. Peso! I'm so happy to see you. Oh, Peso, let me look at you. Are you eating enough and getting enough sleep? Mum. Tell me about your undersea adventures, Peso. How many creatures have you saved? I reckon you're the bravest of all the Octonauts. Oh, that's not true. I'm just... One of the most valuable members of the crew. You should be very proud of Peso. My son, the medic. Thank you so much for taking us to see the Iron Clam race, Captain Barnacles. We all want to see it. I think Hugo's going to win again. Hugo wins the Iron Clam every year. What's the Iron Clam race? And who's Hugo? I'll show you. I've got some great video I shot of last year's race. There's Hugo in the sliding event. Whoa, he's fast. He broke the penguin diving record too. He went deeper than any other penguin ever has. And held his breath for more than 20 minutes. Wow, that's a long time even for a penguin. Yow! And he swims almost as fast as the gut bee. No one can beat Hugo. He's so good at everything. Are you ready to watch the Iron Clam Pinto? I am. Actually, I have a big surprise for you. What kind of surprise? Well, since Hugo wins every year, this year no other penguin was brave enough to go up against him. Oh, don't tell me they're cancelling the race. They were going to, until your little brother had his brilliant idea. Yep, I saved the race by finding the one penguin brave enough to compete against Hugo. Great. Who? You! <gasps> Me? Is this a joke? Nope. But I could never beat Hugo. Of course you could. You're my big brother and you can do anything. My son, the athlete. Captain, tell them I can't do it. Who says you can't? Aye, matey. You can't give up the ship before you've even set sail. You still have time to train, Peso. The race is in Antarctica, and it's going to take us a while to get there. Yes, if you work hard, you can do it, Peso. I'm happy to help. I know a little something about building strength. Mm. Please, Peso, please. OK, I'll do it.
说吧。Your fastest time yet, but is it fast enough? Here we are, Captain. So tell us, Peso, how do you feel right before the big race? Nervous, but I'm feeling pretty good. Thank you. Not everything. <laughs> Almost everything. I don't have a chance against Hugo. Why did I ever agree to do this? Peso, Peso, yeah. That's why. You're right. I can't let him down. And you must be Peso. I really have to thank you for signing up for the Iron Clam. Without you, I wouldn't have a chance to win again. Don't be so sure you're going to win this time, Hugo. My big brother's a great athlete. Of course he is, little guy. May the best penguin win. Even though it's kind of obvious who that's going to be. <laughs> Welcome to the Iron. Clam! The race that pits penguin against penguin in three exciting events. Sliding, diving, and swimming. A penguin must win two or more events to win the race and this special trophy. Oh, the Iron Clam! Event number one, sliding. I shall throw the Iron Clam down the slope. Then the racers will slide down after it, penguin style, on their tummies. Whoever catches it first wins the event. Let the countdown begin. Five, four, three, two, one, go! Oh. Come on, Captain. We're going to miss the race. Uh, uh. Quasi, activate skis. And Hugo takes an early lead in the sliding event. Look how he takes that curve. Peso's off to a, a slower start, but there's still plenty of time. A perfect turn for Hugo. Uh-oh, Peso's having some trouble. Catching up. And Whoa. Yeah! Who says penguins can't fly? Uh quasi, they can't. Flappity flippers! It's a wipeout for Peso! Whoa. And the winner is you go! Peso, you'll catch a cold. Are you okay, Peso? I'm fine. I'm just sorry I let everybody down. Don't worry, matey. The race isn't over yet. That was just the first event. There's still two more to go. <sighs> Don't feel bad, Peso. This was your first time. The first time I did the sliding event, I almost lost too. Though, of course, I ended up winning, so that's not really the same, is it? <laughs> Please take your places for the second event. Dashie's going to use her camera to video the underwater events, so you can watch them from the octopod. <laughs> Very kind of you, Captain. Good luck, Peso. I just know you're going to win the next one. Right, I can do it. Welcome back to the Iron Clam, event number two, diving. I shall throw the iron clam into the water. 
Then the racers will dive down after it. Whoever brings it back to me first wins the event. Remember, if Hugo wins this, he wins it all. Let the countdown begin. Both penguins are off to a good start. They're neck and neck. Peso takes the lead. He goes for the clam. He's got the clam. He's dropped it. He's got it again. Peso's got the clam. Jumping jellyfish. Peso's got the clam. <laughs> <Hooray>! <laughs> 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 Oh no! He's lost it! The iron clam is sinking again! And this time Hugo's closing in on it. Grab it! Oh, 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 oh. Get it back! He'll get it back! He can do it! Looks like Hugo's got the clam! Yow! That thieving dolphin just stole it! If the penguins can't get the clam back, this race is over! Dashy, it's not over yet. Those penguin wings are as good as fins underwater. Look how fast they're swimming. Like a couple of dolphins they are. Hey, dolphin! Drop that clam, please. What? Huh? Oh, we have a new twist, folks. The dolphins dropped the clam, but now a whale's got it. Yeah. Peso's got it! Oh, now Hugo's got it! Now they both got it! Give me that! It's mine! No, it's mine! I got it first! And I've got it last! Whoa. This race is taking the Iron Clam to new heights! I had it first! Dream on! Whoa! Oh, wait! Now an albatross has got the clam and is flying off with Peso and Hugo! Now there's a bird that can fly! But Peso and Hugo can't. We need to stay with them. Let go! No, you let go! Yeah, how about you both let go? You two are getting heavy! Drop it! You drop it! How about I drop it, huh? Oh! oh. Quasi, get ready. Steady as she goes. Now, activate airbags. <coughs> Thanks, Captain. And they're off. We'll catch up with you, Peso. Yeah, got it. Ooh, oh. No, I've got it. What? Finders keepers. Tentacles off, Squido. It's mine. Drop it, Hugo, before you get hurt. I'm not falling for your tricks. Mine, 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 mine. After that clam. There they are. Looks like everybody wants that clam, but this race is just for penguins. Peso's looking strong, but Hugo's pulling ahead. Hugo, Hugo, of you we sing. You're so good at everything! Oh, I'm sure there must be something I'm not good at. Excuse me. Huh? Yeah. And Peso takes the clam! And the winner of the diving event is... Peso! Do it. I've been beaten? That's never happened. Hey, so, hey, so, of you we sing. You might even win this thing. I hey, might so, even win. I might even win. Ladies and gentle fish, for the first time in years, we have a tie. 
Each penguin has won one round. So, it all comes down to the third and final event. Please, take your places. Event number three, swimming. The racers will swim from one end of the trench to the other. The iron clam is waiting at the finish line. Whoever reaches it first wins the event, the race, and the iron clam. Let the countdown begin. Five, four, three, two, one. Hugo pulls out ahead of Peso. Come on, Peso. You can do it. Oh, don't let him get ahead oh, of you. Go for it, Peso. You got lucky last round, but not this time, Peso. Yo ho! Hey, hey, hey! Go, go! Uh oh. Look out! Oh no! There's been a terrible accident! Quasi, let's move in as close as we can and get them out of there. Aye aye, Captain! Luckily, Peso and Hugo can hold their breath for a long time. Oh, Peso! Oh. Uh. Where is he? Is he okay? Uh. Uh. Hugo, you've hurt your flipper, but I don't think it's broken. This seaweed bandage should make you feel better. Ah, it does. But how are we going to get out of here and finish the race? Good question. I'm just afraid that if we try to move one ice block, the rest will fall on top of us. We've got to get them out of there. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, Peso and Hugo are trapped under big chunks of ice. We need Gup C and D to rescue them. Come as quickly as you can. I want to come too. I have to save my brother. Sorry, Pinto, but this job is just too dangerous. You can help by staying here with your mum and looking after her. Come along, Pinto. <sighs> Octonauts, this is going to be a very tricky operation. We need to carefully remove the chunks of ice one by one, so the whole pile doesn't fall on Peso and Hugo. Tweak, you can start with that one. You got it, Cap. Don't worry, the Octonauts will get us out of here. Sorry, Camp, but this chunk of ice is too big for me to get a hold of it. Then we'll use the Gupsy. Take it slowly, Shellington. Aye, aye, sir. Last one. Easy now. Hugo, are you all right? We're okay, just a little cramped. Pinto, what are you doing here? I'm sorry, Captain. I was just trying to help, but I've made it even worse. Aye, matey. The ice chunk is wedged tighter than before, and now we've got no rope to pull it with. Did you hear that? How are they going to haul the ice chunk away without rope? Good question. Wait a minute. That's it. Captain! I have an idea! Octonauts, we're going to use these seaweed ropes to lift off the ice chunk. When I give the command, we're all going to pull together. Pinto, we could use your help. Really? We need somebody to pilot the Gup B. 
Aye, aye, Captain! Ready, pull! Come on, come on! You can do it, Pinto! You did it! Thanks, Captain. Yes. Thanks for rescuing us, Octonauts. Let's get back to the race. Let the Iron Clan continue! You shouldn't be swimming, Hugo. You're injured. No pain, no gain. I'm a winner, not a quitter. Why are you swimming with me? Why don't you go on ahead and grab the clam? That's what I would do. Because there are more important things than winning. Like what? Like making sure you're all right. I don't understand you at all. Yeah! Ah. Go on, Peso. What are you waiting for? I can't leave you here. And I know how much winning means to you. So... Hey! What are you doing? This is incredible! Peso is carrying Hugo... ...across the finish line! For the first time in the history of the Iron Clam, we have... Hi! I must admit, folks, I don't know what to do. Who gets the clam? Definitely give it to Peso. He deserves it. Oh, that's all right. Hugo wants to win more than I do. Allow me. There. A big cheer for the winners! You peso, you won the contest and you saved Hugo, my son, the hero. <laughs> oh, mom. <laughs> <laughs> Looks good. Great. Now, can you tell me how many flippers I'm holding up? Two. That's right. You're a completely healthy fish. Next. Oh, no. Let me take a look at that. Don't worry. My name's Peso. I'm an octonaut and a medic. I help creatures who are hurt or sick. If you let me bandage that claw, it will feel better. Ah, good as new. These Arctic waters are cold. I'd better head back to the octopod and warm up. Whoops! My medical bag. Oh no, I've got to find it. Aha! Just a clam. I know it's down here somewhere. <gasps> A walrus. He's using his whiskers to find clams. <laughs> Maybe he can help me find my medical bag. Oh, thank you. I've been... Oh, hey. Uh-huh. <laughs> what a weird clam. Hey, the chief might like that. Wait, come back. That's not a clam. It's my medical bag. Captain. Go ahead, Peso. Captain, my medical bag has been taken <gasps> by a walrus. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, 
can anyone think of why a walrus would take Peso's medical bag? He must have thought it was a clam. Yes, they do love to eat clams, Captain. It had all my bandages and medicine. Without my medical bag, I can't help creatures feel better. Don't worry, Peso. We're going to find that walrus. We'll march right up to that whiskery lump and make him give back your medical bag. Yow! Peso, Quasi, to the Gup A. Open the octahatch, Tweak. Right away, Cap. Ahoy! One whiskery walrus right ahead. We must be getting close to a walrus colony where they live. Whoa! That's a lot of walruses. If your bag's in there, we'll find it. <clears throat> um, hello there. I believe there's been a misunderstanding. You see... Hey, you guys aren't walruses. You got that right. We're octonauts. This is our colony. Walruses only. Uh, easy now. We just want to... All right, back off. Move on. Oh, Move well, on. Well, well, uh, 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 well, 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 well. Enjoy the dip. So much for marching right up to them. <laughs> got me when I wasn't ready. Avast, you scurvy walruses. Hmm. There's got to be another way for us to get into the walrus colony. And then, splash, we all fell into the water. Hmm. Walruses don't like to share their home with other creatures. Sounds like if you're not a walrus, you're not getting in. But if we looked like a walrus and acted like a walrus... Maybe we could sneak in. And find my medical bag. Tweak, we're going to need your help. Sure thing, Cap. Octonauts, Operation Octo Walrus begins now. Let's go. Tweak's costume will fool them. If it'll get my medical bag back, it's worth a try. Fair enough. Come in, Shellington. This is Barnacles. We're sneaking into the walrus colony now. Excellent. Now it's very important that you act like a walrus. Don't let them push you around. Huh. Must be a new guy. Walruses say hello by blowing in each other's faces. Blow back or they'll think you're being rude. Oh, um... <sighs> That's all you've got. <sighs> um, we need to blow harder. Everybody, one, two, three... <gasps> <gasps> now that's more like it. Nice to meet you. If you've got any extra clams, give them to the chief. He's hungry. We've all got to share our food until he feels better and can find his own. Right. Thanks for the tip. It's working. We've made it inside the colony. One of Peso's stickers. We must be getting close. Keep your eyes peeled. You! You're stepping on me tail. Sorry, but it's hard when they keep smooshing up against us. Ah, typical walrus behaviour. They love to get cosy and cuddle with one another. Cosy isn't quite the word for it. Hmm, that's better. You don't get too relaxed. Aye, what's this? A new guy? That's the one who took my medical bag. <sighs> Come in, Shellington. We've got an angry walrus heading right for us. Jumping jellyfish, it's a walrus challenge. <sighs> He wants to see who's bigger and tougher. If we want him to tell us where the bag is, we'll have to challenge him back. We could be bigger and tougher than he is. Hop on me shoulders, Captain. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. <laughs> bigger. <laughs> Are you okay, Peso? Um, I'm okay. Okay, okay. You're bigger than I thought. Where is the medical bag? The medical bag? It's white and uh, it opens up and inside... Oh, you mean uh, the funny white clam that I found? I gave it to the chief to try and cheer him up. Which one is the chief? The chief is probably...
only the biggest walrus with the biggest tusks. Aha! Bring him on! Careful. Quasi, try to get back into position. Huh? I can't get back in position while you're sitting on my... Intruders! Oh, run! Captain, come in. What's going on? Have you located the chief yet? Shellington, this really isn't a good time. <laughs> Take them to the chief. At least we get to meet the chief. What are you doing in our colony? Speak. Uh, please, we didn't mean to bother you. We're just looking for Peso's bag. You mean that strange white clam? That's it, my medical bag. Your medical bag? I'm the Chief Walrus. It's mine. We don't want any trouble, Chief, but that bag belongs to my friend Peso. You think you can just waddle into my colony and tell me what to do? Oh no, his flipper. Stop! You shouldn't be walking around on a hurt flipper. If it's not bandaged right now, it will only get worse and worse until... Oh, my flipper really does hurt. Can you tell me what happened? Well, I twisted it the other day, and now I can't even swim. That's why everybody's been bringing you clams to eat. Do you think you can do anything for me? Hmm. One twisted flipper. I'll need my medical bag. Uh, all right. Here. Oh. There. Good as new. Hey. Thank you. It feels better already. I don't know what I would have done without you. And I don't know what I would have done without my medical bag. Now remember, you take it easy on that flipper. I will, and you come back to visit whenever you like. I hereby declare you all honorary walruses. Will you join us in the official walrus cheer? <laughs> 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 and barnacles to Shellington and Dashy. How's it going up there? Um, a bit slowly, Captain. This Arctic ice is so thick, it's taking our sonic slicer forever to cut through it. Almost. Just a little more. There! We made it through. We're heading up now to gather the ice samples, Captain. Just try to be quick. The hole you made in the ice will freeze over very fast and you won't be able to get back into the, um... Back into the water. Aye, aye, Captain. We'll be quick. Over and out. Who's making that music, Captain? I'm not sure, Quasi, but it certainly is making it hard to work. Let's investigate. me hearty. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know you were so good at playing music. Thank you. This xylophone was a present from my Aunt Pepita. Well, you're certainly getting good, but, uh, Peso, do you think you could take a break so we can... This is Shellington calling the Octopod. Come in, Octopod. Barnacles here. Everything okay up there? Captain, we found another hole. Another hole in the ice? Yes, but that's not all. I'm sending a video through to you now, Captain. They're beluga whales, Captain. Yes, I see. But uh, what are they doing? They appear to be trapped under the pack ice. They should be in open water. Can you ask them if they need help? I'll try, but belugas are very shy creatures.
Wait, please. I'm Shellington, and this is Dashi. We are the Octonauts. We might be able to help you. Have to breathe. Have to breathe. What are you doing all the way out here, under the pack ice? The water froze over us. We have to stay near this hole. But why do you need the hole? Have to breathe. Have to breathe. But why can't you just swim back out to the open water, where there isn't any ice? Too far away. Can't swim that far without breathing. Have to stay near the hole. Shellington, what do you make of this? The belugas are trapped. There's ice all around them and only a small hole where they can come up to breathe. And this hole is starting to freeze over too. It's getting smaller and smaller. We have to rescue those belugas right away. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Yow! Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, our mission is to lead the belugas back to open water where there's no ice. But we need something that can cut a path through the ice so that they can breathe along the way. Yeah, what about the sonic slicers? They're too slow. We need to act fast before the beluga's Whoa. breathing hole freezes Whoa. over. I think I have just the thing, Cap. Okay, Tweak, let's see if your icebreaker attachment works. The ice isn't breaking. Pack ice is really thick. It takes a lot to break it. Get those belugas to follow me. Belugas, this path will lead you to open waters. Have to stay near the hole where it's safe and quiet. Belugas, please follow me before the ice freezes over. Oh, no. oh dear, this is not good at all. Hmm, the belugas don't seem to want to leave their breathing hole. <laughs> If only they would follow Captain Barnacles. <gasps> I've got it! Fish biscuits! Huh? What's your plan, Quasi? Well, I reckon these belugas must be getting pretty hungry by now. So I brought them a little fish biscuit snack. Good to see you tuning. Stay by the hole where it's safe. Why aren't they following me? Belugas, like all whales, are scared of loud, strange noises. So, the sound of the Gup Sea cracking the ice and the sound of, well, quasi, probably scared them. How can we show them that this path to open water is safe? Professor Inkling, any ideas? I know exactly what sounds will make the belugas follow you. An old whale song recording. They'll hear their own sounds and follow right along. It's working! <laughs> Oh, oh, it, uh, 
Uh -oh. oh, my. We're losing them again. We've got to do something, Captain. The path is already starting to freeze over. That noise they make, that sounded a little bit like... Peso's music. Peso, we need you and your xylophone out here right away. Captain, are you sure this is the best time for music? This is exactly the time for music. Your music. Captain, I'm ready to play. All right, Peso. It's showtime. It's working. Peso's xylophone playing sounds just like the Beluga song. Have to stay close to the hole where it's safe. But those sounds are so nice. Have to breathe. Have to breathe. It's okay. We can breathe along this path. If we follow the nice sounds down the path, we won't be stuck here anymore. Sorry we didn't follow you at first. We belugas are always a bit shy around creatures we don't know, and all those loud noises scared us. Well, now we know each other. And we love your music. It sounds just like ours. Come on, everyone join in. Two, three, four. Ah, I don't know how to sing like a beluga. Oh, come on, Quasi. It's easy. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Goodbye, Octonauts. Thanks again. Goodbye, Belugas. Safe journey now. Goodbye. <laughs> Say, ah. Uh... <laughs> oh, you're just a little shy. Don't worry, I won't hurt you. Captain? your accordion music, Captain Barnacles, and it really helps this one relax for his medical checkup. Oh, it was nothing. I hope you haven't caught a cold up here in the Arctic. Oh no, we orcas are used to the cold Arctic weather. <laughs> yes, you're one healthy orca. Thanks, Peso. Thanks, Captain. Bye. Bye, orcas. Hope to see you again soon. Goodbye. Whew. Six orca throat exams, three fin and tail checkups, and teeth cleaning for the whole pod. What a day. Good work, Peso. But we'd better hurry back to the octopod. With these chunks of ice moving in from all directions, it could get dangerous. It's worse than I thought. Phew, that was close. Captain. I see it. Hang on, Peso. Brace yourself! Peso, are you okay? I think so. Are you? I'm all right, but I'm not sure the gup is. We need to get it out of this chunk of ice. It's no use, we're stuck. What'll we do? Don't worry, we'll get out of this. Let's call the octopod. Professor Inkley. Prepare to meet your match in the game of Pirate Drafts. Avast! I've got you now! Ha-ha! <laughs> mm. <laughs> huh? Ah, no, it looks like I've got you, Quasi. <laughs> ah, 
I've been suckered. Barnacles to Quasi. Come in, Quasi. We're going to need some help out here. Sound the Octo Alert. Aye, aye, Captain. Yow! Octonauts to the launch bay. <laughs> Octonauts, the Gup E has crashed. Peso and I are going to need some help getting back to the octopod. We'll have to hurry before the Gup E is hit by another giant chunk of ice. It could break the Gup. That's the problem. The Gup E is stuck in a giant chunk of ice. And we can't get it out. Oh. Hang on, mateys. I'll come out in the Gup C to give you a tow. I hope you can find us, Quasi. The crash damaged our Gup Finder. And we're drifting pretty quickly. Hmm. I'm seeing lots of ice chunks, but none with a gup in it. Better keep looking. Oh. Oh. I do hope Quasi can find us. Oh. It's getting bumpy. Uh-oh. We're heading straight for an iceberg. Flappity flippers. Abandon ship, Peso. Where did the guppy go? Look! Oh no. Don't worry. We just need to climb to the top and break the gup out of the iceberg. Climb to the top? Yes, we can do it. We're a team. Come on. Yes, we did. Now, the trick will be how to dig our gup out of this ice. Oh, all this moving ice is making me dizzy. I can't tell which way I'm going. Captain, come in, Captain. We've lost radio contact with the gup E, Quasi, but they should be around there. Keep looking. Oh, I've searched everywhere for them, but all I've found down here is ice, ice and more ice. What was that? It sounded like the captain's accordion music. Shiver me whiskers. It's not Captain Barnacles at all. It's the Orcas. Maybe they can help. Hey, look! Quasi! Oh. I heard your Orca songs. I thought it was Captain Barnacles. Captain Barnacles? We just left him and Peso a little while ago. Aye, but they never made it home. The Gup E crashed and now they're lost somewhere in the ice. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, dear. Don't worry, Quasi. We Orcas will help you find them. Huh? 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 Oh no, the ice is breaking in two. Peso, jump! Yeah. <sighs> 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 Hang on! <sighs> Whoa! <sighs> We've got to stay with the gun. Jump again! <sighs> <sighs> Peso, use me as a bridge. Yes. Gotcha. Phew. Yeah, we've looked everywhere for him down here. Hey, what about spy hopping? Spy hopping? What's that? Spy hopping is how we look around up above the water. Yeah, watch me, Quasi.
But there's lots of ice up there, too. Better stay with the pod, Quasi. Yeah, we orcas always stick together. Aye, let's start spy hopping. Up there. It's still stuck in the ice. How are we going to get it back in the water? If only we could tip this iceberg back over again. I reckon our orca friends could help. Yeah, we love ice tipping. Ice tipping? It's what we orcas do to find food. We tip the chunks of ice over. Watch. Ready, set, tip! Yeah. You orcas can do everything. Now we can get the guts home. I just hope we don't crash into another ice chunk on our way back. Orcas, you know your way around these waters. Can you guide us out of here? Of course. Hi, orcas and octonauts always stick together. And I know exactly how to make the trip a little more fun. Whale sharks dive down to deep waters only once a day. I can't wait to find out what it does down there. <laughs> He's going down, Captain. Then so are we. Shellington, what are those things? They're krill, Peso. That must be what the whale shark comes down here for. The krill? Yes, that tiny little shrimp that the whale shark eats. Let's take a closer look. Aye, we'll have to. They're mighty small. We'll use the octogoggles, Quasi. They'll make those tiny krill look big. Activate octogoggles. Slappity flippers. Mmm, fascinating. Wow, amazing. Hey, there's something glowing over there. What is that? Flappity flippers! A giant shark! Hmm? Are you talking to me? Wait a minute. My octo goggles. Hey, you're not a gigantic shark. You're tiny. Yeah, I, I get that a lot. But even though I am small and I glow, I'm uh, still a shark, okay? Uh, Oh. Oh. What's wrong? This thing is stuck to my back and I can't get it off. It makes it hard to uh, swim. Don't worry. You've just got a sticky shell stuck to your back. I can help you. I'm a medic. I help any sea creature who's hurt or sick, no matter what. Heads up, Peso. Whale shark coming through. Uh. Little 
shark. Where are you? I've got to help him. But first, I've got to find him. Captain Barnacles, I just met a tiny little shark, and he had a shell on his back. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down there, matey. What did you see, Peso? A shark. A teeny tiny glowing shark. He was hurt and he needed help, but the waves from the big whale shark knocked him way down deep and I don't know where he is. Well then, we'd better find him. Let's sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to your stations. Octonaut, there's a shark out there who needs our help. Peso, what did the shark look like? Well, he's tiny, about as big as my flipper. I've never heard of a shark that small. Well, sharks do come in all different sizes. Indeed, there are huge whale sharks like the one you follow today, and also much smaller sharks. Yeah. Hmm. But none of my old books mention a shark as small as the one you saw, Peso. See? Your eyes must have been playing tricks on you. I know what I saw. It was a teeny tiny little shark. And if he was swept downwards, we'll have to look for him in deeper, darker waters. Come on, we've got a tiny shark to find. Barnacles out. Yeah. How are we supposed to find anything down here in the dark? Peso said the little shark glows, so let's shut off our lights so we can see if anything's glowing out there. Shiver me whiskers! He looks like outer space. Each of those lights is a different sea creature. One of them must be the little shark. If he was swept down this way, he probably didn't get far. We'll have to split up. But be careful, it's so dark down here that it's easy to get lost. Deep sea suits on, everyone. Aye, 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 aye Captain. Uh, excuse me, are you... Oh, you're not a tiny shark at all. You're an anglerfish. <laughs> you got that right, pal? Ah, these are no sharks, that's for sure. Huh? Mm, just a glowing jellyfish. Oh, that one's really bright. Nope, hatchet fish. Where are you, little shark? Where am I? Peso to Captain Barnacles. I seem to have got separated from the group. Where are you? Can anybody hear me? Oh no, my radio isn't working. I must be too far away from the others. Oh, is that the lantern shark? No, it's much bigger and brighter and it's coming right at me. Yikes! Ahoy, Peso. Quasi. Why are you swimming upside down? I'm not upside down. You're upside down. You got that wrong, pal. Huh? <sighs> Come on, Peso. We need to go find the other octonauts. But we haven't found the tiny shark yet. Peso, I've chased after lots of strange creatures. And the truth is, sometimes you find them and sometimes you don't. But this one needs our help. Well, if we don't find Captain Barnacles and the others, we're going to need help too. Righto. Let's stick together. I'll look for the shark while you look for the octonauts. Shellington, have you seen Peso or Quasi? No, just lots of glowing fish and no little shark either. Peso, Quasi, come in. Their radios must not be working. I hope they're not lost. We'd better... Oh. What is that? Wait for me, Captain! <gasps> A tiny shark! Oh, thank goodness you saw my flashy. I'm glad it helped you find me. We lantern sharks use our lights to find each other. Fascinating! Well, I've never seen a shark as small as you. <laughs> Everybody says that. Oh, this shell on my back is really bogging me. We can help with that. 
Well, not me, but our medic. He's called Peso. Peso? He's my pal. Where is he? Well, uh, I'm afraid he's out there. Somewhere. We've got to find him. I can see pretty well in the dark, so I can help look for him. Oh, it's getting hard for me to swim with this shell. Don't worry. I can carry you. Okay. See anything? <sighs> Look. Something's flashing. Hello. Over here. This way, matey. <sighs> they can't see us. If only we had a flashing light. That's it. We do. Huh? Now that's what I call a bright idea. Oh, I hope they see us. Hmm? Hi, it's working. Hey, Sue, Quasi, is that you? You found us. Hola, Peso. And you found the little shark. Well, shiver me whiskers. It is a tiny shark. Let's get you fixed up. What kind of tiny creature are you anyway, matey? I am a dwarf lantern shark, and I know I'm little, but I am still a shark. <laughs> oh. There. Good as new. <sighs> Thanks, Peso. I sure am glad we found each other. How about a picture? Take good care of yourself. It's a big ocean out there. Will do. Bye. Nice to meet you. Bye. Bye, me hearty. Bye. It's called a dwarf lantern shark. Of course. It wasn't in any of my old books because you're one of the first explorers to find one. This is the smallest shark in the world. A dwarf ah. lantern shark. Well, it just goes to show you, sharks come in all different shapes and sizes. Just like octonauts do. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Antarctica, the coldest place on Earth. It's too cold for pirates. But not for my cousins, the Adelie penguins. I can't wait for you to meet them. I'm me hearty, but couldn't we meet them somewhere warmer? Adele penguins don't live anywhere else in the world. Antarctica is their only home. We've come to visit at the perfect time. The chicks have just hatched. And Quasi, Peso and I are going to give their parents a little help. Yeah, what kind of help? Babysitting, of course. Babysitting? Quasi, Peso, to the guppe. Hi, Hi Peso. Peso. Thanks for keeping an eye on the chicks while we swim out into the ocean for food. Mum, Dad, can I come too? I'm not too scared to swim in the ocean. You're still a chick. You haven't grown your seagoing feathers yet. Yeah, Rocco. Grown-up penguins have special feathers that keep us warm in the freezing water. You'll get too cold swimming in the ocean. It could make you sick. Bye, Rocco. We'll be back soon. Keep an extra eye on my Rocco. He's a daredevil, completely fearless. Don't worry, I know the type. <laughs> so, what's in the box? Presents for everyone. <laughs> a rock! A rock. That's right. Adelie penguins collect little rocks to build their nests. See? Line up, everyone, and we'll pass them round. <laughs> My name is Flip. And I'm Flap. Oh, but here's a present for you. And one for you. Your little rock is better than my little rock. Oh, that's a tough one. Um, well, uh, let's see. Here we go. These two rocks are exactly the same. Thank you. you. Good work, Peso. Captain, there's an iceberg on the loose and it's heading for the octopod. I'm on my way. Peso, Quasi, you'll have to handle the babysitting without me. Yeah, 
can't miss all the excitement. Not all the excitement. I'll babysit most of the chicks, and you babysit Rocco. Just Rocco? I can do that with one paw tied behind my back. Flip! Flap! Come away from that ledge. Phew. Ah, <sighs> well, it looks like it's just you and me. So, what? Rocco? Where'd he go? Rocco! Quasi! That's what my mum always says. <laughs> Let's swap rocks. I want my old rock back. Why? Because it's better. I'm sure the rocks that I gave you were exactly the same. No, my old rock had a brown spot on it and this one doesn't. Let's swap back. No. I'm sure we can work this out. Now flip. I'm flap. He's flip. Oh, sorry, flap. You mean flip. Yes, floop. I mean fleep. I mean, oh, flappity flippers. <sighs> flap, if you flip over your rock, you'll see it has a brown spot just like flaps. I mean flips. You're right. Flappy now. I mean, happy now. Happy. Phew. See that bird up there? Hi, matey. I like to play a little game with him. Watch this. Hey there, you big beaky birdie. You don't scare me. <laughs> See, now he's coming to get me. Shiver, whiskers. He is coming to get you. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> that was fun. That was close. Rocco, me hearty. You have to be a little more careful. Even in my pirate days, I knew... Where'd he go? Rocco? Quasi! Cannonball! <laughs> I think Captain <laughs> Barnacles has the easy job today. This water is getting rough. Dashie to Captain Barnacles. There's a storm about to hit and it's big. The iceberg has changed direction. It's heading towards... Me! <laughs> Dashie! The Octonauts to the HQ. Octonaut, there's a big storm on the way. <gasps> That's dangerous for the Adelie penguin parents. They could get lost at sea. The storm will blow ice and snow onto the shore. Peso and Quasi will need to find a way to keep the chicks warm. Dashi, contact Peso and tell him to get ready for ice and snow. Already on it, Captain. I'll find and rescue the Adelie penguin parents, but I'll need a bigger gup. Tweak, meet me outside the octopod with the gup C. Got it, Cap. Octonaut, let's do this. <laughs> Penguins, I'm coming to get you. Oh, got you. Two more. Hold tight. Yeah. Oh. Up on board. We need a shelter to keep the chicks warm. And we need it fast. Bandages. Bandages? Quasi, throw me bandage rolls as fast as you can. Ready? Aye, but go! Everyone, inside the tent! <laughs> this is so exciting! I don't want to go inside and miss the big storm! Rocco, it's too cold for you out here, matey! Oh, all right! <sighs> that ought to do it! Nice and cosy! Right, Rocco? Where's Rocco? If he's not in here, 
then he's out there. I'm going after him. Rocco! Rocco! will bring them home. And nothing can stop the captain, matey. <gasps> but an iceberg on the beach can really slow him down. <sighs> Not that iceberg again. How will we get home, Captain? Don't worry. The Gup Sea was built to break through ice. Penguins, this could get bumpy. Home, matey. <gasps> Mom! Dad! <laughs> oh. Octonauts, thank you so much for. Hold on. Where's Rocco? Where's, Where's Quasi? Quasi? Just one more time, eh, matey? I can't believe we're back in these chilly waters again. It's all in the name of science, Quasi. Indeed, the creatures of the Arctic Zone make some fascinating sounds. And with the Octopod's underwater microphone, we can record them for our collection. Ooh, what's making that sound? Oh, <laughs> just my tummy. <laughs> I ate some of Tunip's kelp cakes for lunch with a wee bit too much hot sauce. Wait, I'm picking up something else. Listen. Sounds like walruses to me. The computer will match the sound with the animal and we'll see if you're right, Captain. Ah, oh, walruses. Now let me guess the next one. It is a strange sound from a strange creature. And this strange creature could only be the... Herring? Yes, herring. They talk by blowing gas bubbles out of their behinds. Out of their behinds? Ooh, what's that coming from? Sounds like some kind of whale song. It is. Bowhead whales. They only live here in the Arctic, so their sounds can't be recorded anywhere else. Look. Howdy, folks. Hello, we're the Octonauts. Pleased to meet you. That's an enormous head, even for a whale. The head of each bowhead whale is as big as a bus. We're not aiming to brag now, but we bowheads do have the strongest, toughest heads in the Arctic. How tough? Tough enough to smash through just about anything. Yow! And we make some pretty big sounds, too. Ready, boys? I'm getting a perfect recording of them. Bowhead whales sing all the time, while they're travelling, playing, even eating. It's how they talk to each other. <laughs> 
It's always nice to make new friends out here on the Arctic Range, but now we've got to hit the trail. It's feeding time. Come on, giddy up, partners. Bye. Now. Care now. Bye. 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 Goodbye. Yeah, what's that? More whales? It sounds familiar. Narwhals, Captain. Sounds like a call for help. It is. Then we haven't got a moment to lose. Quasi, peso, to the launch bay. It's coming from inside that ice tunnel. Shiver me whiskers, Captain. Look, there's been an avalanche. They must be somewhere behind all that ice. Ahoy in there! Narwhals! Are you all right? Help us, please! We are trapped in here! We can't get out! I know that voice! Boris? Da! Barnacles, is this you? Yes, old friend. What happened? Me and my two friends, we dove down very, very deep. Everything was good, yes? Until the pack ice moved and trapped us in here. The ice, it is too thick for a narwhal to punch through. <laughs> and we are almost out of air. Then we need to get you out of there now. Octonauts to the HQ. <laughs> Octonauts, three narwhals are trapped under the ice and they're running out of air. Jumping jellyfish. Narwhals are whales, and whales breathe air. They can only stay underwater for a little while, and then they need to come up to breathe again. We've got to get them out of the ice, but first, let's get them some air. We'll run a breathing tube down there right away, Cap. Octonauts, let's do this. <laughs> found a small opening for the breathing tube. Here you go. We're pushing in a breathing tube, Boris. It won't be long now. Da, please hurry, old friend. We're feeling very weak. Uh, it's caught on something. Uh, uh. Yes, that did it. Uh, uh. There it is. Ah, uh, thank you. Much better. Now that you've got air to breathe, it's time to break through that ice. Dashi, let's try the Gupsy's icebreaker. Icebreaker activated. Not even a crack. Let's bring in the drill. Tweak will need the Gup D. <laughs> All right, Cap. I'll have them out of there faster than you can say bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. Novels, back away as far as you can. It's real stuck. That ice is just too thick. Everything stops spinning. Easy does it. Huh? Oh no, the breathing tube. Oh, it is no use. We're back where we started, and we will soon need air again. We're not giving up on you, Boris. Octonauts, we've tried the guts, but we need something even stronger to break through this ice, and we need it now. Captain, we could melt the ice with a blowtorch. Good idea, but it would take too long. Hmm. <laughs> How about blasting it with a sonic slicer? The ice is too thick for that. I've got an old pirate cannon under me bed. 
But I'm all out of cannonballs. But there were! That's it! The bowhead whales! Tough enough to smash through just about anything! Good thinking, Tulip. Now all we have to do is find our new bowhead whale friends again. Let's call them back to the octopod by playing their songs. Try it louder, Dashy. We don't have much time. We need your help. Three narwhals are trapped in the ice and we can't break them free. Well, we bowheads are the greatest icebreakers in the seven seas. Ain't that right, boys? Yeah, that's right. right. You ready to take a ride, partner? Captain, help is on the way. Thanks, Dashie. How much longer? Look! <laughs> Captain Barnacles, my dear old friend, thanks to you and your Octonaut crew for saving us. And you two are mighty bowhead whale friends. Oh, shucks, Boris, we're nothing. Always glad to help a fellow whale in need. Yes, thank you, bowheads. It's amazing what you can do when you put your heads together. <laughs> Especially when you've got heads this big. Ain't that right, boys? Happy trails, partner! We have some amazing photos of Antarctic sea life, thanks to the new cameras on the gaps, Captain. Excellent, Dashy. And who knows what else we might find today? <laughs> Monsters in the ocean! Swim for your lives! Monsters? Three of them at least! The one I saw was just a giant head with teeth! The one I saw was a giant squirmy sea serpent! The one I saw, I couldn't even see the whole thing! That's how huge it was! And where exactly did you spy these hideous creatures of the deep? Close by! Gotta keep moving! We don't want to run into those monsters again! <laughs> Monsters! Peso, Quasi, let's investigate. All right, everyone, keep your eyes peeled. And make sure your gup cams are turned off. <gasps> I just saw what appears to be a big-headed monster, exactly like the one described by the first dolphin. <gasps> I just saw the sea serpent monster the other dolphin saw. Ah, just me luck. I haven't seen hide no fin of anything monstrous. But I do now. It's the big one, mateys, and she's coming right at me. Was he? Shiver me whiskers. Let's see what the photos from the gub cans can tell us. That's the monster I saw. Yes, and that's the one I saw. And that big whatever it is is the third monster. Hmm, I'm not so sure there were three monsters. Let me try something. <laughs> It's a crocodile. It's a saltwater crocodile. The world's largest crocodile. It's as big as a bus. And it's a long way from home. 
Saltwater crocodiles normally live in places like Australia. That's over a thousand miles away. Hmm. It's not unusual for saltwater crocodiles to travel far out to sea looking for food, but I've never heard of one spotted in the Antarctic Ocean. Oh no, he must be lost and freezing. Saltwater crocodiles are reptiles. They stay healthy by moving to different places when they need to warm up or cool down. If they get too hot, they move to a cooler place. And if they get too cold, they move to a warmer place. But here in the Antarctic, there's no place he can go to warm up. He won't be able to survive this extreme cold for long. Dashy, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts to the launch bay. Octonauts, we have a saltwater crocodile who is lost and in danger from the icy cold water. Our mission is to find him and take him home. Quasi, peso, to the guts. Remember, Octonauts, this is a huge creature we're looking for. If it feels threatened or scared, it may attack us. Aye, and the way it nearly swatted me gut, that tail could crush us like a tin can. It would more likely chomp you with its massive jaws and teeth. Keep a sharp lookout, me hearties. That croc could be lurking anywhere. Below us, behind us, or above us. What happened? He might be injured. Let's take a closer look. He's not moving. He doesn't seem to be breathing. I've got to find out what's wrong. We'll back you up, Peso. Shellington, stand by to assist. He's got a heartbeat, but very soft and slow. Shellington, any idea what's going on with him? Yes, Captain. When saltwater crocodiles get very cold, their bodies can slow down and go into a kind of sleep where they don't need to eat or breathe air for a long time. So, he'll be fine. <laughs> After he wakes up, he'll head home. The saltwater crocodile might not know his way home, Quasi, and he may not be able to wake up at all because of the extreme cold. We need to get him back to the octopod and warm him up. But he's too big to fit through the octa hatch. I wasn't thinking of bringing him inside the octopod. Octonauts, prepare to warm up a saltwater crocodile. <laughs> The croc's attached to the octopod cap. He's as snug as a bug. A really big bug. And this will tell us how he's doing. Good. Hey, sir. Stay with him. Everyone else, back to the ship. Dashing, raise the temperature of the octopod as hot as you can get it. Whoa. And set a course for the saltwater crocodile's home in Australia. Captain, it's working. The crocodile's body temperature is warming up. He's not the only one. It's as hot as the Amazon jungle in here. He's breathing again. It means the crocodile is warming up. But now that he's breathed out, the croc is going to need to breathe in. And he breathes air, not water. Which means we need to get him up to the surface fast. Dashy, activate steering wheel. patient doing, Peso? He seems fine. Let me get a bit closer. <laughs> he just tried to chomp me. Don't worry, Peso. Saltwater crocodiles snap their mouths open and shut when they get too hot. It helps them cool off. <sighs> oh, uh, he may start thrashing about as well. Now you tell me. If the croc is thrashing because it's too hot, then cooling him off should calm him down. Dashy, lower the octopus. 
pot temperature. Cold as you can get it. I'm on it, Captain. <laughs> Cooling plan is working, Captain. The clock is going back to sleep. Octonauts, it's time to enjoy some chilly indoor temperatures. <laughs> Think warm. Warm sunlight on a tropical pirate's cove. We just need to keep the octopod cold a bit longer. Once we reach warmer waters, we can return to normal temperature and let the croc wake up naturally. This is an ice way to travel, eh, Quasi? Australia, Captain. The croc's home is just a few miles ahead. Captain, the saltwater crocodile is moving a bit. I think he's waking up. Dashy, you can return the octopod temperature back to normal. We'll leave the octopod here and use the gups to tow the croc the rest of the way. All right, Octonauts, let's bring this big fella home. Boy, what's all this? What do you think you're doing? Oh, uh, easy. We're friends. Here to help. Help? Then why am I tied up? Looks like you're trying to capture me. Nobody captures a salty. <laughs> Octonauts, abandon guts. You can tie me up, but come any closer and I'll chop you down. Please. Let us explain how you got here. We found you in the Antarctic. You were lost. And freezing. And so we brought you back here to your home. Yeah, I do remember being lost. Big icebergs everywhere I turned. So cold I couldn't stay awake. Guess you really did help me out. We help all the creatures of the ocean. We're the Octonauts. Pleased to meet you. You can call me Salty. Well, Salty, you have a bruise on your snout. May I bandage it for you? Yeah, go on. And no chomping, please. No chomping. <laughs> there. Thanks for all your help, fellas. We all need a helping paw now and then, Salty. Even crocs and pirates. Whew. That sun sure is getting hot. <laughs> Sorry about that, tell you. <laughs> Didn't mean to scare you, but uh, you know I'm awful hungry all of a sudden. Uh, you should probably leave now, mates. You don't have to tell us twice. Goodbye. Just a little further up, and we can dig for the secret treasure of Whitebeard the Pirate. I wonder what Whitebeard's treasure could be. No one knows, Captain. But Whitebeard was a fearsome pirate. I've heard that he could throw one of his legendary flying snowballs from the Arctic all the way to the tropics. Calico Jack once told me that a snowball from Whitebeard landed right on the deck of his ship and it never melted. Remarkable. Here, Cap. This be the spot. Uh, ah! We hit something. Why, there it be! Whitebeard's treasure! Now all we need is the key for that lock. Let me just find the right one. Bluebeard's treasure, Redbeard's treasure... Ah, here it is. Oh, my paws are so cold I can barely feel them. Whoa! My key! Oh! Shiver me whiskers! Captain, a hungry sardine just gobbled up me key! That could make the sardine very sick. We've got to find her. Let's split up to cover more ground. Aye, right, Captain.
Quasi, are you all right? I'm fine, Captain, but I just took a whale of a ride. What was the meaning of those bubbles you were blowing at me? Well, I can't help it if you crashed into my bubble net. Humpback whales like me make bubble nets so that we can catch a lot of food at once. We're sorry to disturb you, but uh, we're chasing after a school of sardines. Maybe you saw which way they went. No, but I'll keep an eye out. If I see them, I'll send you a signal. That's how us humpback whales communicate. Just listen for this. Got it? Got it. Whoa, there's some krill. Yummy. Hey, gotta go. And the name's Mitch. That little sardine is going to get a big tummy ache if we don't find her soon. Hi, Captain. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, we need to track down a sardine who swallowed Quasi's key. Oh no, that could make the sardines sick. I found a school of sardines in the area, Captain. Great work, Dashie. But how will we know which sardine has swallowed the key? Tweak? This x-ray viewer should do the job. Tunip, let's show him. Hide that hammer behind your back. Suba, suba! Very good. We'll need more than one of these x-ray viewers to find a little key in a little sardine in a great big ocean. I'm on it, Cap. Peso, meet us out here in the Gup E. Once we find the right sardine, we'll need you to perform an emergency key-ectomy. On my way, Captain. Quasi, Peso, activate X-ray viewers. Aye, aye, aye Captain. Captain. The sardines. Let's go. And now move in closer so we can look for Quasi's key. They're splitting up. You two follow that group, I'll follow the other. Aye, aye, Cap. We have to hurry. That sardine needs our help. Ow! Quasi, none of my sardines has the key, which means that one of yours does. Quasi and I are still chasing them, Captain. Quasi, are you? Quasi? Quasi to Captain Barnacles. Do you read me? Peso, are you there? I've got to get me gut back in the water fast. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, there's that humpback whale. Ahoy, Mitch! Can you hear me? Oh, maybe if I send that signal. Oh, sounds like somebody needs help. Oh, you really do need to watch where you're going. Yeah, yeah, but right now, I need to get my gup off this iceberg. Okay, I'll tip the iceberg over for you. Ugh, too big for me to tip over by myself. Yeah. But it won't be too big for me and a couple of friends. I'll send out a signal. Yo, Mitch. Called. Hey, guys, I need some help tipping over this iceberg. Let's do it. Always enjoy a little iceberg tipping. Hold on up there. Ready, guys? One. A little more. Two. A little more. I've got to catch up with those sardines. We'll come along just in case you will run into any more trouble. 
This guy has a habit of crashing into stuff. No, now we've lost Quasi and the sardines. I'm right behind you, mateys, and I brought some friends. <laughs> nice to have you back. Captain, sardines, they're right under us. Everyone, follow me. And there's the sardine who swallowed me key. I see her too, but we need to keep her in one place so I can remove the key. <laughs> hey, bitch! Could you and your mates blow a humongous bubble net to keep the sardines from getting away? Of course. Come on, fellas, bubble net. Tommy ache. I'd like some relief. Just hold still. I'm going to perform a keyectomy. Just swallow some of these bubbles, then let out a nice big burp. Like this. Uh. Oh, pardon me. <gasps> uh. It worked! Mickey! Sorry it gave you a tummy ache. I feel much better. <laughs> Thank you, humpback whales. No problem. Always enjoy making a bubble net. We'll just be on our way now, but, uh, will you look after him? He, he has a habit of, uh... Crashing into things? <laughs> yes, I know. Yo! Oh. Well, Captain, now that I've got me key back... We finally get to see what's inside Whitebeard's treasure chest. Flying snowballs of Whitebeard! And look, it's a note from Whitebeard himself. It says, whoever finds this treasure is worthy to use it. Octonauts, let's do this! <laughs> These Antarctic icebergs are huge! Sure looks cold out there, matey. It is cold, Quasi. Antarctica is the coldest place on Earth. Its freezing temperatures make it very difficult to explore. Oh, then it's too cold for pirates, that's for sure. Captain, the water temperature's dropping fast. The octopod will freeze up if we go any further. Dashi, bring the ship in for landing. It's time to test out Tweak's latest invention. How do you like the GUP S? Incredible! I designed the GUP S to withstand even the coldest temperatures. So Antarctica is the perfect place for a test drive. It's got a heated ice drill, a special ice proof camera, an anti freeze system, a hot cocoa machine. <laughs> but that's not even the best part. The GUP S is two GUPs in one. It can explore over the ice and under it. Incredible. Octonauts, our mission is to explore Antarctica from top to bottom. Quasi, Peso, Shellington, you're with me in the Octo Sled. Dashy, Tweak, Tunip, ready for separation? Aye, aye, Captain. You got it, Cap. Operation Over Under begins now. Activating ice drill. It's time for us to go over. While we go under. Tweak, she's running fine. Is everything okay down there? So far, so good, Cap. Make sure you take lots of pictures of any creatures you find under the ice. That's the plan, Shillington. When you finish exploring, we can reconnect using the ice spy. It's over there on the left. It can detect anything that's moving under the ice. And it should help you find us. Thanks, Tweak. Fun 
Chronicles out. Captain, we should be on the lookout for creatures up here too. Huh, though there aren't many that can live in such a cold place. Everybody, keep your eyes peeled. In the meantime, let's see what this Octo Sled can do. Yow! I mean. <sighs> Everyone, hang on! Whoa. Ice. Ice. And more ice. Uh, well, Captain, uh, I suppose there's nothing to see up here. We better head back to the octopod and warm up, eh? Quasi. We've just got here. <laughs> Aha! There. What is it? It looks like some kind of hole. Octonauts, let's investigate. Coming, Quasi. Just a minute, Captain. Just have to get my tail in here and zip this up here and there. Uh, Quasi, do you really think? I. Oh, you don't want me getting frostbite on me tail, do you? Oh, do. Little help, Captain. Huh? Uh, there you go. Thank you. Captain, Quasi, come and look at this. It looks like it was carved out of the ice by something very hard and very sharp. Oh, tell you what made that hole, mateys. Twas none other than the Ice Fanged Chomper. The what? The Ice Fanged Chomper. Pirate legend tells of a rare sea beast with teeth like razor-sharp icicles. The sneaky scallywag swims under your feet and jumps the ice right out from under you. That's why pirates steer clear of Antarctica. If the cold doesn't get you, the ice-fanged chomper will. Uh, Quasi, we still don't know what made this hole. We'll just have to... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Captain, look! A storm's moving in, and fast. Everyone, back inside. Wow, we're now further under the ice than anyone's ever been. Any other ship would have frozen by now. The Gup S is amazing, Tweak. Thanks, Dashy. The antifreeze system keeps it from getting too cold. I got the idea from some of the fish that live down here. They have antifreeze in their blood, so they never freeze up. Hmm. I hope we see some of those fish. I'd love to test out the ice-proof camera. If only there was something cool to... <laughs> Photograph! Come on, Tunip. We better get that ice-proof camera ready. Beautiful. Oh, thanks. Nice of you to notice. <laughs> We've got to show these creatures to Shellington and the others. Oh, but my camera's already starting to freeze up. Don't worry. The ice-proof camera's almost ready. Uh, Heidi, hey! Out of my way! <laughs> oh, sorry. We didn't see you there, Mr. Sea Star. Sea Star? I'm not just any Sea Star. I'm a superstar. Name's Saul. You didn't see me coming because of my camouflage. Makes me look just like the ground. Nobody sees me unless I want them to. What's this thing? It's in my way. This is a camera. It lets our friends up there see what's down here. You have friends? Up there? Uh-huh. Always wanted to see what was up there. Above the ice. Hey, uh, don't distract me. I gotta keep moving. Gotta warn the little ones. Warn them? About what? Oh, no time. Out of the way. I gotta get going. Fast. Watch yourselves. I'm moving at super speed. Captain Barnacles, are you there? Oh, we're here, all right. Though we can barely see a thing in this snowstorm. Well, take a look at this. Look at all those colorful sea stars. Look at these. Ooh, what kind of plants are those? They're called sea tulips, Peso. But they aren't plants at all. They're animals. Look out. Those 
are hourglass dolphins. They're only found here in Antarctica. Ah, there's more action down there than up here in this scurvy storm. By the time we get through it, it'll be dark outside. <laughs> Actually, Quasi, in Antarctica it never gets dark during the summer. You can't tell, but right now it's the middle of the night. Middle of the night? Yeah! Now you're pulling me full! <sighs> There's no time to rest now. If we don't keep moving, we'll be completely buried in snow. Rest? I'm not even tired. The pirate always knows when it's night, and I say it's definitely not the... Uh. Operation Under Team, still awake down there? Sure are, Cap. We've moved to a new location and I'm almost finished. Just one more bolt and I can put this project to bed. <sighs> and I need to thaw out my camera. It's frozen solid. Heidi, hey, out of my way. Oh, hiya, Saul. Huh? How'd you get all the way down here so quickly? Uh, actually, we've been here a while. It's just a little bit down from where we met you. Eh? Oh, never mind. Look out! I'm picking up speed. Gotta get down there and save the little ones. Save them from what? That! What is that? Ah, no time to sit around talking about it. Gotta go. <laughs> oh. Cap, you gotta see this. We're looking at it right now, Twig. Jumping jellyfish. It's a brinacle. They're very rare and very dangerous for the nearby sea creatures. Shellington, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to your stations. Shellington, what are we up against? A brinicle is like a huge icicle that drips down from the ice above. Very salty, very cold. When it hits the ocean floor, it creates a river of ice that freezes all the creatures that can't get out of its way. How long do we have? This brinicle's moving fast. We don't have much time at all. Let's get out of here. <laughs> You'd better get out there and help those creatures. You got it, Cap. I'll catch it. Captain, we've got a problem. Our hatch is frozen shut. Don't worry, we're coming down to help. Harvey, it's in Dashie, tweak. Ah, the storm must be interfering with the radio. How will we find them? The ice spine will show us anything moving under the ice. It's our best chance of finding Dashie and Tweak. Ugh, this hatch is still frozen shut. Dashie, let's see if we can... Warm it up. I'm sending more antifreeze to the hatch now. Give it a little more, Dashie. It might start getting cold in other parts of the ship. The rest of the ship is getting too cold. We're losing power. Almost have it. Hurry. Power failure in five, four, three, two. <laughs> Got it! The ship's temperature is returning to normal. Super, super! Come on! There's no time to lose. The storm's getting worse. Look, something's moving under the ice. It could be Tweak and Dashy. Which way, Shellington? Turn left, Captain. Now to the right. Left. Now right. Jumping jellyfish, it's going all over the place. Whoa. Which way now, Shellington? It's stopped. Come on, everyone. No time to lose. This rope will help us find our way back. Everyone, hold on. Look, there's something up ahead. 
It's another one of those holes. Hmm. This one started to freeze over. Shiver me whiskers. Did you see that? You don't think it's the Ice Fanged Chomper? <gasps> it's trying to chomp through the ice. That's exactly what it's doing. But it's not an Ice Fanged Chomper, Quasi. It's a Weddell Seal. A Weddell Seal? It looks like it's trapped. Weddell Seals breathe air, Captain. It'll suffocate if we don't break through the ice. Move aside. Uh, ah! about to run out of air under there. It's lucky we found you. But what were you doing? Sorry, no time to talk. <sighs> of course. Weddell seals make breathing holes in the ice with their front teeth. <sighs> Ouch! Oh no, something's wrong. Excuse me, my name's Peso. I'm a medic and I help any sea creature who's hurt or... Have to... <sighs> oh! Keep chomping. Oh, I can't let it freeze over. Ow! Oh. oh, your tooth hurts. That's why you were stuck under the ice. Mm -hmm. Don't you worry, um, Wilma. Don't you worry, Wilma. I'll have that tooth fixed in no time. Captain, we need to get Wilma inside right now. Aye, but what about her breathing hole? It'll freeze over again. Good thinking, Quasi. Here you go. <sighs> so, we have to get everybody away from that brinicle. Hey, you're telling me. What do you think I'm in such a hurry for? Will you be okay? I'm a superstar, remember? I'll be right behind you. Faster! We can't let them freeze. bit of pressure. Yeah. There. Good as new. That feels better. Oh, thanks, Peso. How long before I can start chomping ice again? I'll just give those teeth a quick clean and then you can chomp away. What flavoured toothpaste would you like? I have tuna fish or squid. I think I will try... squid. Still no sign of Dashy and Twig. Mm, they could be anywhere under all this ice. Under the ice? Spit. <laughs> Who's under the ice? Some of our friends. And I think you might be able to help us find them, Wilma. <laughs> Quasi, come in, Quasi. How's it going under there? Still no sign of them, Captain. This could take a while. This day keeps getting colder and colder. Hey, look! They are up ahead! Shiver me whiskers! How'd you spot them, Wilma? We weather seals have excellent eyesight. Come on! Captain, I think we found them. Follow us! Good work, Quasi! <laughs> Hurry, Tunip! Get them to the warming station!
Dashy, come in, Dashy. Captain, where are you? We're right above you, but it could take us a while to drill through this ice. Don't worry, Captain. Wilma and I were just coming up for a breather. Just a little further. Look out below! Yeah! Hang on, this could get bumpy. Captain, look out! I see them. Captain, over here. Quasi, take care of those brinicles. Everyone else, let's lend those creatures a paw. Remember? Close one. Is everyone all right? <laughs> Never better, Captain. Nothing like a little brinicle smashing to warm you right up. How's that tooth doing, Wilma? Jumping like a champ. And you all look much better, too. Oh, thanks. Nice of you to notice. Uh, so, what about your arm? Ah, uh, don't get your ears in a twist. My arm's gonna be just fine. I'm a superstar with a superpower. A superpower? It's true. It takes a bit of time, but sea stars have the power to grow back their arms. Good work, everyone. I'd say Operation Under was a big success. Uh, enough about Operation Under. What's this Operation Over I keep hearing about? Cap, maybe while Sol's arm is growing back. He could come and see for himself. Why not? You mean, oh, up there, now? Octonauts, let's do this. Hot diggity! <laughs> <laughs> Say, sea star. The Arctic Polar Scout Emergency Post is out here on the sea ice. Aha! Uh, uh. uh -huh. There it is! Let's go! I'll just knock on the... Oh! Captain Barnacles! It's good to see you back in the old post, sir. Quasi, Peso, meet Tracker. Tracker, meet... The Octonaut guys? 
I mean, the Octonauts. I'm Quasi. And I'm Peso. Welcome to the Poro Scout Emergency Post. Tracker's in charge here, and he does an excellent job. I was trained by the best. That's you and Captain Barnacles. Yep. Before he was captain of the Octonauts, he trained Polar Scouts like me for the emergency service. What kind of work do you do at this post, matey? Okay, this is my listening station. When someone sends out a call for help in the Arctic, it's my job to hear it and make sure they get the help they need. And that's why we're going to set up a connection between this emergency post and the Octopod. So we can work together to help as many creatures as possible. Ready to test the link? Ready, sir. Dashi here, Captain. Tracker, meet Dashi. She's our computer expert aboard the Octopod. Nice to meet you, Tracker. Really nice to meet you. So, how's the signal? Good. Okay, that's a call for help. And where's it coming from? It's... well, that's weird. It's not coming from the Arctic. It's coming from the opposite side of the world. The Antarctic? Yeah, and... Whoa, Captain, it's coming from an old ice research station that's been shut down for years. So there shouldn't be anyone living at that station at all. But someone's sending a call for help. And someone needs to answer it. Tracker, stand by. Yes, sir. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, our mission is to answer a mysterious call for help from the other side of the world. Tracker? Right, sir. I'm sending through a map now. Here we are in the Arctic. The call for help came from this ice research station in the Antarctic. And who lives at the station? Tracker says it's been shut down for years. And nobody's heard a peep from it until now, mateys. Dashi, set a course for the Antarctic. Tracker, we'll keep you posted. Cool. I mean right, sir. And good luck. Tracker out. Activating launch. Antarctica. Octonauts to the Gup S. We've come all the way from the Arctic to the Antarctic, but really, what's the difference? Ah, oh, there are lots of differences, Quasi. For one thing, polar bears live only in the Arctic. And penguins live in the Antarctic. And just look at the map. The Arctic is north. The Antarctic is south. When it's winter in the Arctic, it's summer in the Antarctic. The Arctic is a frozen ocean surrounded by land. The Antarctic is a frozen land surrounded by ocean. They're both too cold for cats. But the Antarctic is even colder than the Arctic. The Antarctic is the coldest place on Earth all year round. <sighs> My whiskers are shivering just thinking about it. Hot chocolate. That should warm me up. Thanks, Tunip. What was that? I'm not sure. Whatever it is, whiz around. And one of us heading straight for us. Hey, sir? Uju. Octonauts, this is my cousin, Uju. He's an Adelie penguin. What are you doing out here? We're making a big once a year journey from the sea back to our nesting grounds on the land. That can't be an easy trip. No, but I've seen so many amazing things along the way. <laughs> Look at the beautiful shape of this ice. Uju! Please keep up with the rest of the group. Oh, but look who I found! Cousin Peso. So nice to see you. I wish we had time to talk. We have to get to our nesting ground soon. And after this big swim, we still have a long march across the land. I understand. Goodbye, Uju. Safe journey, everyone. Thanks, Bye, Peso. Say hello to your family for us. Ah, oh, you penguins make the Antarctic seem a little friendlier, matey. <laughs> 
Everyone, it's time to take the Gup S on to land. Settle in and get comfortable. We've got a long trip ahead of us. Close to the ice research station. Keep your eyes peeled, everyone. It's difficult to see anything out there. Who knows, Pateys? With all this wind and snow, the station may have disappeared without a trace. <laughs> Captain, flashing light straight ahead. <laughs> Research station. Let's see if anyone's home. In all this wind and snow, it's easy to get lost. So everyone, hold on to this rope. That way we'll stay together. Everybody ready? Wait, where's my cutter Thanks, matey. See you later. All right, Octonauts. Let's move out. Somebody had to eat and run. Ah, somebody's been filling up a lot of notebooks. Uh, getting closer. Very loud now. Must be deep down in the ice. Oh! Uh, what was that? Everybody out! Here, grab on! Okay. Safe and sound, Captain. But we still don't know who called for help. Look, Captain. Tracks. Mm. These tracks are the paw prints of an Arctic fox. But that doesn't make sense, Captain. Arctic foxes don't live in the Antarctic. Let's see where these lead. It. Professor Natquick? <laughs> I don't believe it. Barnacles! <laughs> <laughs> Did you call for help? Yes, yes. I was beginning to think that nobody heard me. <laughs> Octonauts, this is Professor Natquick. When I was a young polar scout, he taught me how to do field research in the Arctic. And I'm happy to see you remember what I taught you. How to recognize tracks, how to listen for sounds that others miss, and... <laughs> <laughs> How to dodge one of my surprise snowballs! <laughs> Very good, Barnacles! Thanks! But what are you doing so far from home, Professor Natquick? I came here to do research in the Antarctic many years ago! No one knew you were still here! My radio broke long ago, but I couldn't leave! I'm on the edge of amazing discovery! But it may soon be lost! Lost? Why? Follow me! Quick, quick! I called for help. I realized that the ice was moving and pulling the station into this enormous ice chasm. When it falls in, all of your work goes with it and disappears forever. As you can see, it could fall in at any moment. 
Then we've no time to lose. Tweak? We can pull this ass research station to safety faster than you can say bunch of munchy crunchy frozen carrots! Octonauts, let's do this! Octonauts, you saved the station and my life's work. Now I can share my amazing discovery. Follow me, click, click. I always pounce with a chance to investigate a strange new sound. When I arrived in Antarctica, I discovered this. <gasps> the bloop sound. But who or what was making it? That was question. I tracked the sound deep in the ice until finally I discovered that the mysterious bloop is made by... A humongous blooptopus. No, it's... A gigantic bloopzilla. No. A monstrous blooperoceros. No, no. The bloop sound is made by enormous ice quakes. Ice quakes? Yes, yes. It's the sound the ice makes when it breaks and moves. Congratulations, Professor Nerdquick. That's quite a... Shh, listen. Do you hear that? I'm afraid we don't have your Arctic Fox hearing. Ah, yes. Here, listen through speakers. Ah, yes. I hear it now. What? What is it? Mm, sounds like the pitter-patter of lots of little feet. No, no. It's not Peter Patter, it's a Woodle Waddle. A Woodle Waddle? But what Woodle Waddles? My cousins, the Adelie Penguins, they Woodle Waddle. They're heading back. And they could be heading straight for the ice chasm. Captain, with the wind blowing all the snow around, my cousins might not see the chasm before it's too late. They could fall in. We need to warn them to stay back. Everyone, to the Gup S. Cap, the flares are ready to go. They should be bright enough so the Adeli penguins can see them even through the snow. Good work, Tweak. Now, we just have to make sure our timing is right. Dashi? The radar shows that the Adeli penguins are close to the chasm. All right, Peso. Let's send up the flares. On my count. Three, two, one. Ooh, what's that? Did you see those lights? Attention, Adeli penguins! This is your cousin Peso speaking. It's Peso! Quiet! What's he saying? Shh, please, stay where you are and don't go any further or you'll fall into an ice chasm. Everybody stop! All right. Thanks, Peso. We'll stay where we are. But we still have to get to our nesting grounds. Is there some way that they can go around the ice chasm? The ice chasm is miles long. Going around it would take a long time. Captain, they're already tired from their long trip from the sea onto the land. If they have to travel extra miles around this chasm, I'm not sure all of them will make it. Then we'll just have to find a way to get them over this ice chasm. The bridge might work, but what can we make it out of? There's nothing but snow and ice in this scurvy place, and it takes more than that to build a bridge. I need something to warm me up. Ah, ah, look, it's so cold that my hot chocolate freezes as soon as I pour it. Quasi, you're a genius. I am? Cap, I know just how we're gonna make a bridge. First, we drill a tunnel through the ice. And the heated drill will melt the ice into water as we go. Then, the water will pour out from our side of the chasm, and as it hits the other side, it'll freeze up. Just like my hot chocolate. Octonauts, let's make an ice bridge. Penguins, 
You can start crossing the bridge. But please be careful. Come on, Udo. Is everyone safe and accounted for? Yes, Captain. I believe everyone's here. Uh, oh, except. Hold on. Where's Uju? Oh, wow. Uju! Hi, Peso. Look at these amazing icicles. And over here, oh, the ice is waving. You need to hurry and cross the bridge now. Yes, quick, quick. You never know when another ice crack could hit. Come on, Uju. No time for stopping. Speed waddle. All right, I'm coming. <gasps> I hear a rustling sound from somewhere in the ice chasm. Yes, yes, that's definitely the sound of penguin flippers. He's alive. Oh, how can we get him out? If only we could fly. Poor Rujo. Don't worry, penguins. We'll save him. Octonauts, one of us will have to go down after him. I'm ready to go, Captain. I'd like to go. Uju may be hurt and need medical help right away. Agreed. Peso. The rest of the team will lower you down to Uju. And we'll pull both of you back up safe and sound. That's a promise, matey. Octonauts, let's set up the rescue rope. All ready here. Ready. 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 On rope, going down. <laughs> on a ledge. Are you hurt? My flippers are fine, but I, I can't move my foot. Hold on. I'm almost there. <sighs> Wait, so. Ah! 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 Dig it! Good. Hold your position. Peso, are you okay? Well, Captain, I'm at the end of my rope. And so is Uju. You got me. Yes, I've got you. Captain, bring us up. Well done, Peso. Octonauts, slow and steady with the rope. <laughs> Good work, Octonauts. And especially you, Peso. I've never seen flippers that fast. Just doing my job. And now, your foot needs a proper bandage. <laughs> it's time to finish our trip back to the nesting grounds. Oh dear. Uju shouldn't waddle on his foot for a few more days. I think we can help with that. Forward waddle! Goodbye! Oh, no. How fast can this thing go? Let's find out, matey. <laughs> Fantastic! Well, Professor Natquick, are you ready to get back to work? Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> but I'm afraid this old ice research station is falling apart. Hmm. What do you think, Twig? Well, it's definitely a fixer-upper. So, let's fix her up. Just give me about... Eight weeks in two days. <laughs> this is wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> Glad you like it. I call it the Gup Eye. The Eye is for ice. I've put in solar panels and these turbines to harness the wind for power. The whole station is on snow treads now, so you can move it away from any ice chasm that suddenly opens up. <laughs> but that's not all. Go ahead and raise her up, Dashie! These legs can lift 
the station up high if the snow gets too deep. <laughs> Incredible! If you like the outside, you'll love what's inside. Come on! Your very own hot chocolate machine! Um, don't laugh. It's got the stuff. But that's not the best new feature. It's not. We've set up special pole-to-pole -pole communications. Dashy. This is the Arctic Polar Scout Emergency Post. Tracker here. Tracker, meet Professor Natquick of the Antarctic Ice Research Station, now known as the Gup Eye. Good to meet you, Tracker. Ooh, listen. A mysterious new sound. I hear it too. But who or what is making it? That is question. Oh, I believe it was the sound of a humongous slurped pus. Whoops. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, Professor, now that mystery is solved, how would you like a cup of hot chocolate? Oh, yes, yes! Yes, please! Me too! I'm ready for seconds! <laughs> Good work, Tweak! Oh, yummy! Delicious! <laughs> <laughs> It is cold, Tunic. Can you believe these emperor penguins have been standing out here since the winter started in Antarctica? Super. It's true. It's up to these penguin dads to keep their eggs warm until they hatch. Oh. Hey, look like our mums. The penguin mums are at the ocean getting food for their family. But it's a long, long trip home. I hope they're back soon. Yeah, me too. It's gonna downright boring just standing here. We may be bored, hungry and tired, but we're Emperor Penguins. We'll do whatever it takes to keep our eggs safe. Right, Dads? Right! I can hear you! Right! Shellington to Gup Eye. Not quick here. The Emperor Penguin eggs are fine and the fathers are staying strong. Very good, Shellington. It looks like the temperature is warming up. Spring is nearly here. The winds are calm and... Eh? Huh? What's that noise? Follow me. Quick, quick. Ah, penguin cheeks. They're scratching because they're hatching. Super, super. Let's go and tell Captain Barnacles our egg sighting news. <laughs> Cracking! Good to hear, Shellington. The Emperor chicks have hatched. And that means it's time for the mums to head back home. How are the Emperor Penguin mothers doing, Peso? Swimmingly, Captain. Look, they're chasing off the food so they can fill up their tummies and feed their families. Incredible! Look at that strength and speed. My Emperor Penguin cousins are champion divers. They can swim deeper than any other bird. Dashy, Quasi, it's almost time for the penguin mums to head home. How's the research coming? Amazing, Captain. I'm getting some video of Emperor penguins feeding that nobody's ever seen before. Yeah! Look at them go! The flipping and the sipping! Yeah! And now I'm getting some video of Quasi that nobody's ever seen before. Oh, I am so sorry. <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah! Ready to go again. Oh, I'm still new at all this. First year laying an egg, first time diving for food as a mom. First time? You swim like a pro. Oh, you think so? I feel so full and clumsy. It's our last meal before the long trip home, so we have to eat a lot. Oh! Excuse me. It looks like the mother penguins have finished eating and are ready to get back to their families. We'll want to be on the ice when those penguins surface. Something tells me it's going to be quite a show. Look! Did you see that? Those penguins launch faster than cannonballs! Check, check. Check, check, check. Barnacles to Gup Eye. The Emperor Penguin Mothers are on their way back home. Not all the mothers. We're missing one. You're right, me hearty. Where's the penguin that gave me a ride? She must still be underwater. She'd never be late on purpose. Penguin Mothers know when it's time to go back home. See? Something must have happened to her. She may need help. Dashy, take the Gup S under now. <laughs> 
penguins can only hold their breath for 20 minutes. Then we'd better move fast. There, Captain. Good work, Dashi. Peso, let's bring her aboard. Easy does it. This penguin's a lot heavier than you, Peso. She's an emperor penguin, the biggest, tallest penguin there is. And it looks like she's broken a foot and sprained a flipper. What happened out there? I, I remember swimming to the surface, but then I hit a chunk of ice. The next thing I remember, you saved me. Now I need to get home. You need to rest. But my family is waiting for me. Then they won't have to wait long. We'll bring you back to the nesting ground ourselves. Oh, thank you. The wind's picked up. I think a blizzard's headed our way, Captain. Any sign of the other penguin mothers yet? I can't see much in this weather, and the ice is slowing us down. Everyone, into your snowsuits, just to be safe. Way ahead of you, Captain. Barnacles to Gup Eye. Can you find us a path away from this wind and snow? Turn northwest, past the nearest ice peak. You'll be sheltered there. Understood. Thanks, Nat Quick. Feels like we're picking up speed. You'll be home to your family soon. Bumping into a lot of penguins today. What's happening? The ice underneath us is cracking. Ice chasm. Octonauts, abandon the gut S now. moment in the Antarctic. You had us worried, Captain. I'm all right, but I can't say the same for the Gump S. We'd better sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to your stations. That's odd. For a second, I thought I heard the Octo Alert. Huh? My Octo Compass is frozen and the Octo Alert isn't working. Gump I, come in. Come in, Gump I. Shiver me whiskers! And all me other parts, too! We can't stay out in the cold like this! Don't worry, we'll keep warm by carrying you home. But which way is home? Um... I have no idea. And the map's not working. <laughs> that way is home! <gasps> That's right! Emperor penguins can find the way back to their babies without a map or a compass. Even in a blizzard! Octonauts, let's do this! Not long at all! Look! Mom! Mom! Over here! Where are you? I want my mom! We'll help you find your mom. What does she look like? It's more important what she sounds like. Each Emperor Penguin family has a special call only they use. I'd recognize my wife's call anywhere, and she's not here. She's not the only one who is missing. Where is Barnacles? I thought the team would be back with the Penguin Mothers. This is Tweak to go Bess. Hello? Nobody's answering. Wait, wait, I hear something. Me too. Hmm. 
Does that sounds like an emperor penguin call. Mixed with a polar bear growl? <laughs> Are you all right, dear? Oh, yes. Thanks to the Octonauts. I never would have made it without them. Now, how about a proper hello, little one? Meet your mommy. <laughs> oh, my little leg's all grown up. Captain! What happened? There was wind and snow and an ice chasm. I'm just glad you're all okay. But where's the gup, S? You tell her, matey. Me? Why do I have to tell her? Well, I'm not going to tell her. I'm afraid the Gup S is at the bottom of an ice chasm. Squeak! <laughs> I didn't think you'd take it that hard. <sighs> we'll figure it all out, Cap. It ought to be a real adventure getting the Gup S out of that chasm. Yep. But first, how about some hot chocolate? Good idea, Quasi. Make mine a double with extra marshmallows. <laughs> I'm so glad you could visit us here on the Octopod, Orson and Ursa. Uncle Barnacles, can we show Peso our new Polar Scout badges? Of course, Cobbs. Peso, my niece and nephew have been working hard. Take a look. That's our Starfinder badge. We learned how to find our way using the North Star. And we got this badge for learning how to make a shelter out of snow. But you're really going to like the next one, Peso. The Seaweed Bandage Badge. <laughs> we learned how to make an emergency bandage out of seaweed. And we got to practice on a real live narwhal. Great work, Cubs. There are lots more badges that we don't have yet. And we're going to earn every single one, just like you, Uncle Barnacles. <clears throat> well, actually, I don't have every single Polar Scout badge. You don't? Really? Are you sure? There is one that slipped through my paws over and over again. I remember the first time I saw a walrus in trouble. Oh, my flipper hurts. I offered to help. Don't worry, I'll move. Move along, little polar bear. We walruses can handle this. Whoa! But I didn't give up. My tusky stock! I'd be happy to... Get back! Walrus emergency! And that's how it went every time. Just trying to... And so I never managed to earn my Walrus Rescue Badge. But now it's time for you cubs to earn your next badge. This one is for swimming through an obstacle course of ice flows. Let's go! Good luck, cubs! Here's your challenge. Swim through this maze of ice flows in under five minutes. I bet I can do it in four minutes. Bet I can do it in three. <laughs> Here we go. On your marks, get set. Huh? I think somebody's calling for help. It sounds like it's coming from the other side of these ice flows. Come on, cubs, follow me. This could be a real Polar Scout emergency. And these balls are ready for action. Do not be afraid. We are Polar Scouts. And we are here to answer your call for help. We don't want help. We want our mums. Well, perhaps we can help you find your mums. Help us find them. No, no, we want them to find us. That's why we're making all this noise. What are you, anyway? We're walruses, of course. You're too small to be real walruses. Walruses are big. With big, pointy tusks. These are walrus pups. Oh, so they're babies. But we're still 100% walrus. Understood. Where did your mums go? 
They went to find food, but they've been gone for a really very long time and now we're hungry. Very hungry. Really very hungry. Hmm. Let's see if we can spot your mums out there. Why don't you just go looking for them? We're too hungry to swim very far. And anyways, our mum said to wait right here and not move. So we're not moving. <laughs> An iceberg. And it's moving fast. Her mum said not to move from this ice flow. Well, they didn't say what to do if the ice flow moved. I know what to do. Hey! 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 hey, hey, hey Cubs, hey, would you tell me on to alert? Octonaut to the HQ. Octonaut, the Cubs and I are on a runaway iceberg with three walrus pups. The pups are too weak from hunger to swim very far. And we got to sound the Octo alert. We need to get these walrus pups to safety. Captain, we've located your iceberg. We'll be there as soon as... Uh-oh. Shiver me whiskers! You're on a crash course with two other icebergs. Oh, no. When the icebergs crash into each other, you could all get hurt. <sighs> Quasi, Peso, take the gut S and catch up to us as fast as you can. And please bring something for the walrus pups to eat. They're really very hungry. Tunip, you and the Vegemals can help me prepare some bottles of walrus pup formula. We're on our way, Captain. To the gut mess, mateys! We'll catch up to that iceberg and fast. Ready to mix up some walrus pup formula. Rattle, rattle. Yeah, Iceberg's getting really close. Too close. Move to this side, everyone. No, it's really very close. Hold on, everyone. This could get bumpy. Cubs. Watch out! out. Ah, got it. Oh, everyone, move back. Ah. Barnacles to Quasi. Are you getting close? We're under the icebergs now, Captain. Yeah. It looks like you're trapped right in the middle. And running out of room. Use the ice drill to break through the ice. This scurvy ice is too thick. Turn on the heat, Quasi, so the drill melts the ice as it goes. Heating drill now. That speeds things up. Hold on, Captain! <laughs> Don't worry. Help is on the way. We're getting really... very squished. <laughs> My mum always holds me flipper when I'm scared, and I wish someone would hold me flipper now. <laughs> Here, take... My paw. Oh, thanks. That's better. Quasi! Need a lift, mateys! Just in time, Quasi. Come on, everyone. Into the gut S. Activate bottles. And now we need to find their mums. 
They may have returned to the ice flows by now, so let's start there. this now? Excuse me. <laughs> I think I can help. I don't think so. No, nor me neither. Oh! Easy now. Ladies, I don't like the looks of this one. Oh, here we go again. Mum! 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 There you are! Oh, little Otto! Oh, what a oh, relief! God, oh, thank goodness! Oh, are you all right, love? We waited a really very long time, but we were carried off by a really very big iceberg. And then Captain Barnacles and his friends saved us! Huh? He does have that hero look about him, doesn't he? Ladies, how can we ever thank him for saving our pups? Hug! Wow! <laughs> there it is! The Walrus Rescue Badge. Well, well done, done, Uncle, Uncle Barnacles. Barnacles. <laughs> We're getting close to the Octo Repair Station, Captain. Straight ahead, mateys. Activate docking sequence. Oh, I'm on it, Captain. Still trying to activate docking sequence, Captain. Oh, no! The octopod just isn't herself these days, eh, Captain? She needs a little holiday, that's all. Dashi, activate steering wheel. Oh. Easy now. Steady to the left. Steady to the right. And down. Docking sequence complete. Good job, Captain. Super, super. Wow, this place is huge. And it looks like there's every tool you'd ever need, Tweak. You betcha. I can't wait to get my paws on that Wonder Welder. Ready to get to work, Tweak? Cap, I'll have the Octopod fixed up faster than you can save a bunch of munchy, crunchy carrots. Very good. And while the Octopod is being repaired, the rest of us get to relax, mateys. Octonauts, get ready for a holiday. Spyglass, extra eye patches, and me pirate's guide to island hideaways. Just one more book. <laughs> uh oh! Sunscreen, check. Camera, check. Surfboard, check. I'm ready to go, Captain. I'm glad you could join me on my trip home to the Arctic. I'm excited to meet your sister and her cubs. And we'll get to help the cubs learn some important Polar Scout skills on their first big Arctic journey. We'll hike across the snowy ground, swim through freezing water, jump onto ice floes until we reach the sea ice. Ooh, what happens there? That's where we polar bears hunt for food after the long winter. Ah, I remember my first journey across the sea ice. Is that little cub you? Yes, that's me. And that's my twin sister, Bianca. This photo was taken on the day we completed our journey and earned our first polar bear scout badges. And now I'll be able to give my niece and nephew their first polar scout badges. Let's go. <laughs> Tweak, Tunip and Professor Inkling will stay aboard the Octopod. The rest of the crew will be far away from each other, but we can call for help if there's an emergency. Tweak? Press this little button to contact each other, no matter where you are. See you all in a couple of weeks. Bye, everyone. Have fun, mateys. Bye. Bye. 
Well, I guess it's time to say goodbye. See you again. Yeah, well, wow. Uh, listen, I may be on holiday, but I'm never off duty. So if you need me, just call. I'll be back here faster than you can say munching, bunching, scrunching. Oh, you know what I mean. Don't worry, Cap. We'll be fine. All right, then. I'll see you and the Octopod in a couple of weeks. Take good care of our ship, Tweak. You got it, Cap. Time blizzard. It's so much easier to keep up a fast pace without overheating, isn't it, Peso? Peso? Right behind you, Captain. Uh, let me help you. Just a little bit further. We're here. But where is your sister's den? I can't see anything but snow. Barnacles! Bianca! Oh, good to see you. Oh, where are the cubs? They're right here. It's their first time out of the den, so they may be a little shy. Whoa, it's bright out here. I'm big. I wonder how big. Better find out. Whee! Whee! <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Orson, Ursa, Meet your Uncle Barnacles. Should we call you Uncle Barnacles or Captain Uncle Barnacles? Just Uncle Barnacles. <laughs> Mum says you're strong. I wonder how strong. Strong enough to carry you two on my back. <laughs> and Mum says you're brave. How brave? Brave enough to be an octonaut. And I'd like you all to meet my fellow octonaut, Peso. Hello. We're brave too. And strong. Watch this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Reminds me of the way we used to play together when we were cubs. Really? Oh, yes. That's how polar bear cubs develop their polar bear strength. We wrestled all the time, didn't we? And I used to knock you over like a feather. <laughs> That's why I used to call him Featherpaws. You called the captain Featherpaws? Uh, uh, excuse me while I check in on things back on the octopod. Captain Barnacles to Tweak. Hiya, Cap. Now, aren't you supposed to be on vacation? Uh, yes. And I'm having a wonderful time. How's it going there? Couldn't be better. I'm welding new arms for the octopi. And the paint job is looking good. Sounds like you've got everything under control, Tweak. Sure do, Cap. Oh, um, did I mention that the hot cocoa machine in the HQ is not working? Fix hot cocoa machine. Got it, Cap. <laughs> Come on, Uncle Barnacle. Let's go! All right, Cubs. You're about to begin a journey that all polar bears have made for as long as any of us can remember. And we're the only bears in the world who make this journey. So, are you ready to go? Ready! And earn your first Polar Scout badges. <gasps> yes! Then let's get started by climbing that. Now take it slow. Pull with the front paws. Push with the back paws. Pull. Push. Pull. Push. Got it. Made it. And now we slide down on our tummies like this. <laughs> <laughs> Well done, Cubs. Now it's time to use my favorite Polar Scout skill. Huh? Swimming. Follow me, Cubs. Huh. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> use your paws like paddles in the water. Form a line, everyone, and stay close. 
Ah, there's nothing better than an icy swim. The rest of the crew don't know what they're missing. <laughs> flow soon and take a rest. <gasps> Over there! Hmm, there's a colony of walruses on that ice flow. Walruses are very territorial. They don't like to share their ice flow with anyone. We'll find another ice flow. Come on! <sighs> I'm not afraid of walruses, are you? No! Come on! <gasps> Hey, this ice flow is walruses only. Who says? We do. Uh oh. Oh, uh -oh. the cubs. It'll be tough to get to the cubs from the outside of the ice flow, but if we could pop up on the inside, I'll be right back, Captain. <laughs> Excuse me, walruses. Oh, where did that penguin come from? Yeah, penguins don't belong in the Arctic. What's a penguin? If you'll just move aside, the cubs and I will be on our way. Uh, not so fast, penguin. Oh, uh, let him go. You're not the chief around here, are you? Hey, how come I never get to be the chief? Because you're not big. Let's and get out, out of here. Weather. Oh, yeah. On the count of three, we dive under and make a break for it. One, two, three. Hey? You see? You've let them get away now. No, you let them get away. I never. Yes, you did. We did it! Yay! Thank you, Peso. Oh, I'm so glad you're safe. No more swimming off on your own, Cubs. Would you like to ride on my back for a while? Yes, please. How about I take one and you take the other? There's an empty ice floe where we can rest. Oh, finally! I don't know, Barnacles. The ice looks a little thin. Ah, time to learn another polar scout skill. Cubs, when the ice is thin, stay on your tummy to keep the ice from breaking. <laughs> That's it. That wasn't much of a rest. I hope we find some good, thick ice soon, Barnacles. I hate to admit it, but I'm getting really tired. Come on, Cubs. I'll carry both of you for a while. Give your mum a rest. Peso, you can swim faster underwater than we can. Will you swim ahead and look for ice? Right away, Captain. Yeah. Not yet. The solid sea ice is further away than usual this year. Yeah. Captain, I found a big ice flow up ahead. Wonderful. Yes. Good work, Peso. Lead the way. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Here we are. Oh, perfect! Now, that was a very long swim. How nice to take a rest. Ah, uh, don't get too comfortable. This ice flow is melting. We're two paws lower in the water today. But there's only so much swimming a polar bear can do, eh? I swam here all the way from Canada. It's been tough to find good solid sea ice this year. Tough? Oh, try impossible. Nothing but water between here and Norway. 
And there's no ice any closer to Greenland. So we've come from all around the Arctic. Norway, Greenland, Canada, and Alaska. Hmm, and none of us have made it to the solid sea ice. Perhaps if we swim just a little further north. Oh, I have come from the north, from Russia. And there is no ice for miles and miles around. This is the only place where I can rest my weary paws. I've got you. Stay close, you two. Everyone needs to stay close together. Form a chain. Paw to paw. The wind is getting stronger. The waves are getting higher. We are in big trouble now. How big? Not so big that we can't handle it. Everyone, move in closer together. Mom, can we swim back home now? No, darling, it's too far. Oh, oh no, the ice is breaking up. Oh, the barnacles. What are we going to do? There's only one thing we can do. Octonauts to the Arctic Ocean. Octonauts? Oh. We're stranded in stormy water on an ice floe. And the ice floe is breaking apart. Oh. 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 Captain, we'll be there as fast as we can, no matter what it takes. <laughs> ready to go. Well, there wasn't time to finish fixing the steering system, but I think it'll hold long enough to get us to the Arctic. Dashy, activating launch. Come on, be a good octopod. Activating launch again. Come on. Activated. Yes. We've got to get to the captain faster than this. Can you boost our speed, Tweak? I'll give it a try. Let's see. If I unhook this and tie that into this. All right, Quasi. Hit the red button and hold on to your eye patch. <laughs> Hold on, everyone. Uh -huh. <laughs> Got you. Oh, thank goodness for your strong paws, Captain. Oh, dear. We are now four paws lower in the water. And sinking. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Looks like you could use a little backup, Captain. Oh, thanks for coming, Octonaut. Whoa. Oh, 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 Leave no bear behind. Octonauts, let's do this. Here. 
Now, any chance of a lift back to the octopod? We get to see the octopod? Yes! Barnacles to octopod. We're on our way back. How are things there? Captain, I've located some sea ice. But it's too far away for the polar bears to swim to safely. Then we'll just have to take them there in the octopod. You got it, Cap. All the polar bears are on board, down in launch, but having some hot cocoa. Oh, it's oh, very nice. Oh, that's good cocoa. Oh. <laughs> Tasty. And I'll get a cup ready for you, Cap. Uh oh! Huh? The launch sequence just activated all by itself. Got some wires crossed between the hot cocoa machine and the steering system. Shiver, whiskers! If the octopod hits the bottom, the crash will smash it to smithereens. Captain, what do we do? Captain? Don't worry, I've got this. That's usually my line. Twig, open! The octo hatch! Steering wheel! Steady! Steady! What goes down must go... Whoa! Up! Yeah. Ah! That's better! Whoa! Attention, everyone! There's something up here that you just can't miss. The Northern Lights. Oh, yes. oh. Beautiful! You know, today you cubs proved your courage. We were pretty brave. How brave? Hmm, brave enough to earn your first Polar Scout badges. Even though we didn't get to hunt on the sea ice? Yes, even though you didn't get to hunt on the sea ice. Mom! Hey, sir! Look! Well done, darling! Congratulations! You know, it's a good thing that you showed up on our ice floor. We wouldn't have made it without you. Well, I didn't do it alone. And with the octopod's help, now we'll be happy to take everyone to the sea ice. Oh, thank you, Captain. You know the sea ice is our true home. Oh, yes, yeah, nice. well, that's for sure. What about you, Captain? Where's your true home? When I'm aboard the octopod with all of you, the whole watery world is my home. <laughs> <laughs> Barnacles. I'm waiting. Come on, everyone join in. Right, let's go.